Hello guys and welcome back to the barista series. Now that we've covered the topic of what to expect from the barista job, we can finally focus on what actually baristas are doing on their shifts. My name is Alex and if you're new here, why not subscribe? Now let's imagine it's 5 a.m. in the morning and let's jump straight into the barista day. First thing you may notice is that barista day starts very early in the morning. You're the one who's waking people up, so you gotta be awake much earlier than that. You get ready, and being half awake, you're rolling to the coffee shop. You get there at 6 a.m., now you have only half an hour to open the shop, before the first customers hungry for coffee start showing up. So you put your belongings away, and you start putting some music on. I've always been doing it first, since otherwise I was falling asleep. You recount the cash from the previous day, set up the system, and get those grinders started. You should always put at least two coffee shots through each porta filter, as it's helping to wash off any leftovers of cleaning detergent and warm up the machine. It's called seasoning. Then I wet the cloths, which is highly useful in the milk steaming, and get the display ready. We're almost done. <gasps> I forgot to put the croissants. That should be the first thing I do when I come into the shop. I'm making some ham and cheese croissants, they're always flying, checking all the expiry dates and now it's time to set up the outside. I like to do it at the end since customers start coming once they see you and it's difficult to finish the setup later. My colleague is coming at 8 a.m. so I have one and a half hour of working by myself. I'm not going to be lonely though, no worries. And here we have him, the first customer of the day. That moment always breaks the barrier between nighttime and daytime for me. In the meantime, I'm making myself a coffee, since if I don't do it now, I might not get the chance to do it for a while. Shortly, the place starts getting busier and busier. I'm just doing my thing, turning the music slightly up. I usually put some soft house as it keeps me going, but in the coffee shop I work at, we're actually putting quite a lot of techno, so I'm loving it. I don't like music with words as it distracts me and I can't hear what the customers are saying. And there he is, my colleague barista has finally arrived. Good that it didn't get busier, as in the very morning when you're half awake, it can be tricky to be alone on the shift. In many coffee shops, you're usually the busiest in the morning. In a way, people are coming in waves and we do many takeaways, as everyone is rushing to work. Afternoons and weekends are different. Well, weekends are just different, because the shop doesn't stop for a single second. However, I like the afternoons most, as there is a cozy atmosphere in the shop. People are working on their laptops, friends are meeting, and the vibe is nice and relaxed. Also, it's closer to the finishing time. But for now, we still have a lot of time to go. The croissants are ready, nice and hot from the oven. I'm putting another batch, just in case. We're not making sandwiches in this place, as we have them delivered from another branch. This place is small, but it's very busy, trust me, and it's better that we only need to take care of our customers. I have some dishes to clean already, as people were sitting in. I prefer to do takeaway, as you don't need to deliver to the table and do the washing up later. Also, you don't need to bother with latte art. But since we're already talking about latte art, there you have it. I can make it, you see? It starts getting busy now, as it's 8.30, so about time. I actually really like the busyness, as the time flies fast and you can put the music louder. Also, I just prefer to have something to do, rather than having to spend time searching for something to do. Anyway, the customers are flooding the shop, we're just doing our thing. Shot after shot, milk after milk, and another coffee is ready to go. Now that the rush started slowing down, all the mamas are gonna come in. So we already had two waves, let's get ready for the third one. And here they are, they always come slightly after the rush, trying to avoid it. But since they do come all together, they create a little mama rush. At least, that's how I like to call it. Now we're getting ready for the second part of the day, my favorite part. But first, let me have something to eat as I'm starving. I usually skip breakfast, which is also useful in a barista job, since you don't really have time to eat in the morning. I like to go outside, just to detach myself one moment, and hopefully I'll be able to have 20 minutes of peace, as sometimes customers 
Don't understand I'm on my break and would like to be alone for just a moment. Ah, life is life. Now that the lunch is done, I'm usually trying to film some videos for Instagram and take some pictures. I'm no photographer, but I'm trying my best. And here are the results. Ah, the afternoon vibe. In this place, we don't have Deliveroo and people are coming mainly for coffee as the place is small and we don't have too much food apart from pastries and sandwiches. I have time to check the stock up and it looks like we already need more coffee. Then, I'm doing a little stock up of things like cups, sleeves, sugar and checking the overall cleanliness. We're vibing a little to the rhythm of the music with my colleague and it's already 3 p.m. so time to begin the closing. We start the closing procedures one hour before, just to make sure we're on time with everything. We rarely are on time anyway, since quite a few customers like to appear five minutes before the closing. But hey, we gotta move fast as there's way more things to do when closing rather than opening. I start from non-invasive areas, which means areas customers won't notice. They don't need to realize we start cleaning and they can still enjoy one hour of their time. I wash the dishes, start cleaning up the tops and empty the bins. It's also time for the toilet cleaning, but I decided not to take you there. See you in a minute. Now that the toilet is nice and clean, we start closing a bit louder to get the customers that are sitting notice that we are closing. Half an hour left. The difficult part of closing is that you're still actively serving other customers. So we usually split and one person is only cleaning while the other one stays at the counter still serving customers. I'm doing a little stock up, wrapping all the long lasting cakes and preparing some too good to go bags not to waste any fresh products. When it's 10 minutes to go, I start closing two porta filters, leaving only the last porta filter working in the machine. Then I'm closing the outside, and in the meantime, my colleague is putting some it's time to go music. Which, with the huge contrast created with the previous soft vibes, makes most of the customers acknowledge the fact that it's time to leave. Great! When it's five minutes to go, I'm gently informing every customer that we're closing in five minutes. However, today it wasn't that busy at the end, so we managed to close on time. And once the door is closed, we start counting the till and finishing all the cleaning procedures. Today, closing went without struggles. Also, it's been a very good sunny day and people were happy. We get our things, the padlocks and the coffee shop is officially closed. That's been a great shift. Now it's time to go home and rest. Thank you so much for being with me, guys. I hope you also enjoyed the shift. Let me know in the comments if you're tired the same way as me. Like and subscribe and have a great afternoon. Cheers.